I've said it once and I'm going to say it again. You need this program if you're going to want to create custom SVG files from simple logos or simple images. This is the easiest way to get good SVG files for your custom flags or for anything custom that you're going to be carving. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. And in this video, I want to come back to the topic of custom SVG files. In a past video, I shared that I used Silhouette Studio Business Edition to create custom SVG files from basic images, simple logos. This is the program that I prefer to use. It is a paid program. It is about $100 on Amazon right now. And there is an affiliate link in the description below. So if you want to pick it up, it'll help me out if you use the affiliate link. But with that being said, it is a program that I truly believe in and I use all the time. This is the program that I go with to create custom SVG files from simple basic logos, simple images, okay? Simple. As I mentioned before, my niche is the patriotic decor rustic flags. So if you think about it from that niche, a custom flag could run anywhere from $150 to $450, if, if not more. You could actually pay this program off after one build of a flag or whatever it is that you're designing. Hey guys, real quick, I forgot to mention that a simple conversion of this type of file can cost you as low as 20 bucks. So you could actually start saving yourself money after your fourth or fifth conversion of a simple file such as this. So just keep that in mind as well. Since the last time I uploaded a video on how to create custom SVGs, I've had about three to five orders where I had to use this program to be able to create custom SVGs for that project. Once you start using this program, I kid you not, you're going to use it all the time for your custom orders. You're going to take them more frequently. But I want to reiterate that this is a program that is very good for simple images and simple logos, okay? Once you start getting a lot of details with smaller logos or very detailed specific logos, such as a police badge, this program is not going to be helpful. You're going to probably want to get that outsourced to a third party that can actually convert that to an SVG file for you. But if you have simple logos, simple images, you're going to want to use this program. In this example, I took an image right off the internet, right off a Facebook page. It is a logo of a jujitsu gym, and I'm going to convert it into an SVG file right before your eyes, guys. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the video on how to do this. All right, guys, jumping into Silhouette Studio Business Edition. This is the screenshot. This is just a screenshot of the logo that I took off the Facebook page of the gym or the gym's Facebook page. And what we want to do is we want to bring it into Silhouette Studio. Go ahead and resize it to a size that is workable, manageable, and you can see. What we're going to do is come over here to the right-hand side, and we're going to click on this trace panel. It kind of looks like a butterfly or a piece of bread. Go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and click on Select Trace Area. You're gonna get these crosshairs here. You're gonna go ahead and click and hold and then drag over the image. It's going to turn everything yellow. Everything that's going to be turned into a Silhouette Cameo cut file for the Silhouette Cameo is going to be turned yellow. You have these options here on the right hand side that you can use. You can move these around to be able to get more detail. As you can see here on the L down here, it kinda of looks like the L may not be very clear but you can move this around a little bit and you can try to get more detail. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to assume that this is just fine for me. Once you have everything selected and it's turned yellow and everything that you want to have in your SVG file is yellow, you want it yellow, go ahead then click on this trace option. Once you click trace, the yellow is gonna be removed. What you wanna do is you just wanna click on your image and then drag it away. Once we move the image away, we're left with the red lines here of the cut file for the Silhouette Cameo. Don't worry, we're gonna go ahead now and save this as an SVG file. So go ahead and click on File, Save As, go ahead and save it to your hard drive or wherever you'd like. And here in the format, you're going to wanna to select SVG. Once you click on SVG, go ahead and name it and save it as you please. All right, guys, there you go. That's how you create a custom SVG. If you wanna see how I took this image and was able to create the custom flag in Carbide Create, go ahead and click on your screen right now and I'll see you there.